everyone, welcome to the episode of the Rails API series. So in the previous episode, we took a look at um, testing the index action of the contacts controller uh, that it's scoping things correctly where it's not getting data from another account in the account that we're sending it in as a request. So what we want to do now is because let's take a look at the contacts um, controller. Uh, so the contacts creation, the contact needs to be created under an organization. So what that means is we need to pass in two uh, parameters in the URL, the account, uh, basically to get the current account over here and then the current organization. And then we pass in the parameter to create the contact with. So we want to make sure that things are scoping correctly. Um, so we want to make sure that we write that test. Uh, it's a little bit you know, complicated. It's two level of nesting. So I want to show you guys how to do that. It's not that hard. Uh, so we'll go ahead and, and do that. And then, uh, you know, I'll kind of like we have three episodes of about testing. And in terms of the complexity, like most of the, you know, endpoints we're doing, like with everything you've learned here, you can probably go on and create um, your own test. So what we're going to be doing is in this episode, we're going to write the last test on screen. And then I'm going to assume that you guys are able to write um, the rest of the test to cover all the other endpoints on your own. And if we do things that is not covered here, that is a little bit more complicated or whatever, I will do the, the coverage on how to write those tests as well. But as far as the testing episode, I think three parts, uh, showing you guys how to write three different tests is okay. I think it's sufficient for you to understand what's going on, you know, see the documentation where I got all my documentation from so that you guys can go on and write your own tests from here onwards. Uh, and I think, you know, with everything that we've been doing, you guys kind of understand, you know, the the importance of testing already, like writing automated tests. So this is going to be the last test we write on screen. After this, you can go ahead and do it on your own. Um, so okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to write the test for creating the contact, uh, and then what we're going to be doing in the episode after that is going to try and refactor. Um, some of this code to clean it up a little bit. Uh, and, you know, I'll show you guys my style, like how I write, you know, like controller code. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's already clean, but I think we can do a little bit better. Uh, so we'll, once we have the test, uh, you know, I'm going to write some of the tests off screen to make sure that we have test coverage for everything we've been doing. Um, and then, you know, we'll just do some refactoring. All right, so let's jump right into it. So I'm going to head over here and I'm going to do the creation. So where we're, it's just another endpoint for doing like where we're nesting two levels. So let's take a look at the routes that we have. So over here, we take a look at the routes. We see that we're scoping account ID and then we're having organizations. Um, uh, so basically, we need to pass in the organization ID as well. Um, and then basically, then we can do the creation for the contact. So let's go ahead and do just that. Uh, so here I'm going to do test should uh, create contact under the correct org. That will do. Thank you very much. Uh, and then say basically we want to get the account uh, equals accounts intellectual. And then for the organization, we can just do account.organization.first. So we're just going to get the first organization, whichever it is. Uh, even in the fixture, if we have multiple, we should be OK. So we have the org here. Uh, so let's do a post uh, and then v1. Um, so let's take a look at the routes. We did the Rails routes in here earlier, right over here. So v1 organization context post. So organization um, contacts. And here we're going to pass in the account ID very much like what we did before. So account uh, account ID. And here we're going to do organization. So now we pass in the parameters. So this is getting a little bit long. So what I'm going to do is something like this. Params. Close that out. So uh, for the contacts, we want to pass in the first name, right? Uh, so here, let's see. We have the params account. So we want to do uh, contact first name. So we're going to use a faker gem. So faker uh, name dot name. Um, yeah. 
So that's correct. And then here we have last name, Baker name dot name. Uh, so this should be OK uh, for our purposes. So let's see why it's complaining. Ah, So it's a little bit too long. So what I'm going to do is something like this here. Um, just to clean up our code slightly. All right. OK, so that looks pretty good to me. Uh, so what we're going to be doing now is we want to make sure that everything is being asserted correctly. So we want to do a, um, because over here we're doing a creation, we're doing status created. Uh, and so what that means is it should be uh, assert response created. So we keep the, actually, org is the organization, not organization. Uh, so that should be OK. So let's give this a whirl. And I'm going to just do a Rails test over here. Um, and the test should work. Or if not, then we see why. OK, it's contacts path. Sending in everything as we would on the client. So here it says no routes match account ID, controller format, organization ID. Um, OK, so we need to do organization ID, org. Dot ID, run the test. OK, so it says here we have an error, uh, an actual error. So undefined method friendly uh, for organization. OK, so let's take a look at what's going on in our code, and we're going we're gonna to try and fix it. So it says here it cannot find because of the friendly method. So the friendly method actually um, came from where? It came from the uh, friendly ID here. Uh, and basically, let's take a look at the organization model. We we haven't used um, you know friendly ID here. So which means we need to uh, fix our code. So you can see here, you know, like it, it just by running one command, we just found a bug in our code. Uh, because I wrote all this code without actually testing it. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is just going to remove friendly. OK? And then basically now, if I run the test again, uh, it should be gone. The error should be gone. And there we go. So uh, right there, uh, we just saw you know things just it just worked, right? So and then let's see, like in our response, we return the contact. So in the creation, we return the contact which means we should now have, uh, so let's go over here. Uh, so I'm going to like first name equals, so I'm going to use this faker over here. And then here we put first name. And then basically, we're just going to compare last name. Um, you know, it should be pretty straightforward to do this test. Uh, so last name. And then we can just write a simple assertion. So here we have the contact, so contact equal json dot uh, parse response dot body and then data and so let's see how um, you know our contact is nested in here so in here we have the user uh, I mean this is not correct right so our contact should be not user but contact uh, and then basically you know if we if, let's say we kept that error there like that json dot user is there. Now I'm going to expect contact, right? Because we're sending the request to our contacts, create a contact. I'm expecting that key to be contact, like data and then contact. And then here we can do uh, assert, assert equal. Uh, and then basically we can do a first name and then contact first name. And then very quickly, this is going to fail. Uh, and you can see here undefined method, uh, you know, empty array. So, you know, what's going on? Let's take a look at the code, right? Uh, let's take a look at this code over here. And, well, hey, we named it wrong. So, contact. And then here, I'm going to do a Rails test again. And everything works. So, uh, you know, but the, the thing is, what happens is 
when you write all these tests, the test doesn't have to change. The tests stay the same. The test is just saying that, hey, the behavior of this endpoint should be like this, where it should be nest like the data that we get returned, the contact should be nested under the contact object. And then in there, then you get the attributes. So um, basically, this is a very simple test that you write. It, t it took us you know, not too long to write these tests. But then the tests don't change. So what happens is when we change the code, when we refactor, uh, we, we make sure that the refactor still outputs the same result. Like whatever code we change, unless we're going to change the behavior of how the endpoint works, then we need to update our test. But generally, when we write the test, um, you know, you don't change the, the test doesn't change very often. Unless you want to change the behavior or the business logic of the application, then things change. Um, but yeah, I mean, if but most case you don't change the test, and the test can help you catch bugs like you know what you just saw here in this example right here. Uh, so that's it for the testing uh, for now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go off screen and write all the tests for all the other endpoints that we have, uh, and 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 you know for you guys to practice as students. Uh, I you know recommend you do the same. Just do it off screen on your own. Try to test your own endpoints see what you get. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. Um, and so, yeah, I, we don't have a comment section on our um, on our site yet. That's all coming. Um, but you can leave it in the comment section in the in YouTube and I'll watch those spaces and I'll, I'll make sure that, um, you know, I get those questions answered. Or you can send me, uh, send us a message on Facebook. We have, uh, you know, a, 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 a Facebook page as well. You can send us uh, any questions you have or send us uh, a question in Intercom on our site. Uh, we're happy to help. Uh, so with that, uh, I want to wrap it up. So like, share, and subscribe. Uh, become a member uh, to get access to all of our uh, Rails API episodes uh, and also get access to the uh, React Foundation series, which we show you how to basically consume the API that we're building over here. Um, so yeah, with that, I want to wrap it up and I'll see you guys in the next episode.